Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here. As promised, little preview on uh, some of the staff or uh, double-bladed lightsaber stuff that we've got coming up. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of things which are going to be particular to our way of doing things. Um, we have found, and we will post plenty of videos on this, that this is not a great weapon in sparring uh, for what we do. Um, were you able to truly shut off blades, that would make this a much more uh, valuable weapon. For what we do, we are stuck with these polycarbonate tubes. Even when I turn it off, I can't go through. So that's the one thing that we're going to probably um, emphasize the most, is that this is not a long range weapon. <clears throat> it's a short range weapon, right? It can attack from both sides very quickly because we can do this. However, you, it requires you to be rather close. Um, the hilt, of course, is also a large target, which um, depending on what rules you're using or whatever, that can or cannot be an issue. Um, the major issue, though, is what kind of techniques are, are kind of appropriate and analogous to it. And um, most people kind of go for staff because that's, they see a long object spinning oh, like this. And these are staff exercises here. These, these orbits here as I'm moving around that way. <clears throat> and that is another recent um, uh, method that we use this for, is to just train body mechanics for regular single-bladed lightsaber, um, which I'll probably go into later. Um, anyway, so people assume that it operates like one of these. <clears throat> right? And ob the obvious difference is, is that I can grip and hold the entire uh, object. I don't have to worry about being limited at either end by a plasma blade or, or whatever we're, we're imagining that it is. Um, also, these are generally not cutting weapons at all, so we are not, the, the techniques are not really meant to really power through anything, but more deliver blunt force trauma, a whole lot of uh, leverage and, and, and power coming at the end of a, of a long uh, uh, circumference or, or lever. Um, so staff techniques are difficult um, to find analog you know, analogies to with, with, with the saber staff. Instead, it would be more akin to something like this which is a cicada wing blade uh, from Kung Fu. Um, it is an amalgam type of weapon. Uh, these are halberd heads, probably two halberds stuck together, um, what have you. So there's lots of these kind of impromptu weapons. And it's rare, you don't see it a whole lot. Um, you're seeing it a little bit more as uh, Wu Xu is kind of delving into the depths of things to find entertaining and stuff like that. So you'll see some of these things. Um, but this is far more close to what a saber staff would operate like. Um, now the, the two major differences here are obviously these guards and these things here, which can be used offensively or defensively as hand guards here. But <clears throat> notice that the blades are very, very short. Right? Now this enables me to change my grip from a kind of long, wide, defensive short range type of grip into a shorter range thing. And while this is still a bit in the way, it is not anything like what most people will use with a saber staff. These are very short, shorter than 28 inches or 26 or whatever it is that the saber blades generally come in. <clears throat> and so this can be used short or in melee range, kind of like a sword here, or more, more like an axe. Um, so you're doing lots of strong chopping 
down like this. And you, you're generally trying to go here to the side so that you don't poke yourself, right? But again, cutting weapon. Now, another variation of this is the sun and moon blade, which is almost identical, except uh, these will tend to be closer together and the sides here will be uh, very hooked um, and all of that in this direction. So uh, that's probably a better, a better analogy to the weapon um, that, that we have found. All right, so there you have it. <clears throat> um, Saber Staff stuff coming up soon, folks, so please be patient. Um, we're getting it all set and all that. Um, it will probably start out with a whole lot of training exercises, a lot of ways to use this just to improve your body mechanics, your athleticism, your handling of a, of a regular saber. Maybe later on we'll show a little bit of combat stuff, but probably more to the limitations of the thing as we are kind of forced to use it in the real world. So, <clears throat> anyway, uh, there's a little, uh, a little teaser for you for some Saber Staff fans. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Uh, have a great day and happy sabering. Thank you.